sunny and very cold on Friday. Good Thursday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, we hit 49 today. No, we didn't. Oh, yes, we did. We did it at 3 in the morning. 3 in the morning? That doesn't count. I was asleep. Well, I guess that's true, but if you work the third shift, that, that meant, meant something, right? It was 50 in Oak Ridge and 50 degrees in the fall at very early this morning. So when you have to put out a high temperature, you can't always assume it's going to be at 3 in the afternoon. It happens sometimes at 3 in the morning. It happened at 3.02. 3.02 was the number from the McGee Tyson Airport records. That was the 49 high. But we spent most of the day either in the low 40s or upper 30s. 38 occurred at 3.59, so it was truly an upside down day. Day. Is this weird? Yes. Is it wacky? Yes. But it's all compliments of a cold front that came sweeping into town. We had a peak wind gust of 38 miles per hour. Now, as we look at the virtual fireplace, hopefully you have a way to stay warm. Some of you might think, oh, I'm okay, Aldrich. Don't you worry about me. I question, are you warm and cozy hanging out by the fire? If so, uh, then, then pay no attention to the weather guy. But if you are concerned about the weather, maybe you might be thinking about how to prevent frozen pipes. Maybe this would be a good time to to drip the faucets, drip the water, just let it drip like you see it pictured here, and maybe the outdoor pipes too. But the faucets, you can open up the cabinetry underneath the kitchen sink, let the air ventilate, keep it nice and warm down there as well. But anytime it gets below 20, when it gets below 20 for a, uh, an extended period of time, uh, frozen pipes can be certainly on the menu. So we want to make sure you take care of those pipes. 28 degrees current temperature as of 8 o'clock tonight, and with a north wind at 8, it makes it feel like it's 20. You mean it feels like 20? It does. And look at the dry dew point. It's six degree dew point. I mean, it's in the basement, my friend. It's in the cellar. It's way down there. And our temperature 28 doesn't really say the whole story because it's 19 in Jamestown in Fentress County. It's 19 in Pall Mall. It's 19 in Oneida at Huntsville. And 22 in Wartburg, 20 in Crossville. And this is 8 o'clock Eastern time. So our friends in the plateau, where it may be 7 o'clock hour, uh, you have 20 degrees? Come on, this is early December. Something's wacky. There is something afoot, underfoot, and that cold front that came through is now taking effect in the plummeting temperatures that you and I are experiencing. So I want you to stay warm. I want you to make sure you're, uh, you prevent frozen pipes. Wind speeds are moving at 8 miles an hour. We mentioned from the north, some are a little weaker, 3 miles an hour, Oak Ridge, 9 in Morristown, but that can uh, naturally take an edge off the temperature. So if I say it's 28, it really feels like 20. And if I say it's this, it's that. T 10 degrees is the feels like now in Crossville, Lake Tansy, Fairfield Glade at eight o'clock, my friend. This isn't in the morning. This is now crazy, I know. 10 degrees is how it feels in Oneida and 15 in Morristown. Here's the uh, cloud and uh, clouds and radar put together. Virtually clear skies all across the board. So we're gonna lose the heat. What little we have, it goes out into space. And with 28 here, 22 in Bowling Green, look at the wind chills around the, the region, right? Anytime you see that magenta, purple, fuchsia color, whatever you want to call it, that's single digit wind chills, and they're really bad in the mountains of West Virginia, Virginia, and even into parts of North Carolina. And our concern is, of course, those that might still be recovering from a hurricane in Western North Carolina, particularly. Headlines for tonight. Sunny and cold on Friday. We got the sun sphere, got the sun lined up there. I like how that worked out. Sunny and milder though on Saturday. And then it's hazy sun and clouds on Sunday. I do expect we're gonna find rain coming in in earnest on Monday. Come, could come in from the west very late Sunday night. But the ultimate Doppler radar not showing any precipitation. The ultimate Doppler radar presented by your local Marco's Pizza. If you're hungry and maybe you need some delivery, I know just the place to go. Check out Marcos.com. They are a great place, a resource. If you need a late night snack delivered to your home, uh, Hardin Valley, Farragut, Maribel. They have locations in Fountain City, Halls and Oak Ridge. You can find them in Middle Brook Pike and Ebenezer Road. They give back to No Kid Hungry. Been doing that for years. They also give back now to East Tennessee Children's Hospital, which I love because they're a pizza place that is community oriented. Magnificent pizza they have, the Magnifico for less than $10. That looks so good right now. And you might want a Pizzoli delivered to your door. They have a, that a limited time now for less than $6. You might want to make sure you get the dipping sauce that you like. My favorite is the pepperoni and sausage. Now here's the radar, the bigger view. Yes, there are still some snow flurries moving through southeast Ohio into parts of West Virginia, Charleston, Huntington there. But you expand the view even further. And one of the things you'll notice, there's nothing to see here per se. But when you look at the national scene, there's more snow to be found in some places well to the north. I'm looking at particularly the Great Lakes. Uh, it's just been a snow machine in upstate New York. 
and the lake effect snow guns still firing across some on all cylinders, in some cases off of Lake Michigan, Lake Erie, and Lake Ontario, just to name a few. And the cold air continues to battle in Florida, where they're fighting to keep those orange groves warm. Now, the drought monitor did come out today. Uh, not good, not good. Uh, in fact, it looks a little worse, to be quite honest with you. Uh, when you look at the coloring, it comes in five categories, right? Five different flavors. Uh, the yellow is abnormally dry. That's level one. The moderate is light brown. That's not good. Uh, but if you turn orange, we love orange here in East Tennessee. That's severe. That's not good. So at places like Wartburg, Harriman, Loudoun, and, say, Crossville, you are under a severe drought. Uh, you could even put that in Hardin Valley and Farragut under a severe drought now. Oak Ridge, also orange. Knoxville proper, moderate drought, that's level two. And then you move further north toward Middlesboro, they're level one, abnormally dry. Uh, and of course, this really got soggy on this side of the viewing area during the, uh, the remnants, or was tropical storm Helene back in September. Uh, they got the, the what's six, seven, eight inches of rain or more, uh, but they're still now dry. It's really been pretty, pretty paltry. Cosby is under an abnormally dry level one, but Newport is level two. And then we come back to the west where you can see Fairfield Glade, Rockwood, and Wartburg all under the mo severe drought in orange. It gets worse just north of Huntsville in parts of Tennessee and around the country. Uh, New Jersey is really bad. There's parts of Texas. So there's some people really, really itching to get some rain. Uh, they need it, but they're not getting it at least right now. What's new is the version 6.9.1, the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels Traffic, has the drought monitor on it. We've also added a 10-day forecast. And when you have upside-down days, like today, you like to have 48 hours of hour-by-hour -hour data so that you can plan a golf game, uh, a fishing trip, so that you're like, you can't always assume the high is going to be at 3 in the afternoon. But when you get these fronts coming in at any time of the night, it can change on a dime, and it did, and that's what we're feeling now. So power outages. We had strong winds in the Smokies. Check it out. It's on the app. You can acknowledge whether you want uh, power outages by county or by state. It does you, gives you both options. And then the drought monitor also on the app now. Future cast shows we've got a high-pressure dome moving across Missouri and Arkansas. So we'll find sunny skies t tomorrow. We really had sunny skies for the balance of the day today, but it'll stay sunny on Saturday. The next time I think we'll add some clouds will be on Sunday, so it'll be hazy sun as clouds increase. And you can see some of the rain back toward Arkansas. That's 8 o'clock in the morning. This one's a little too fast for my taste. I think it's going to come in a lot slower uh, as it comes in from the south and west, but eventually it'll get in here on Monday. And that's why we have an 80% chance of rain on Monday. So it's going to be a, a sloppy, rainy Monday indeed. But for tonight, we're down to 17 degrees. Skies will be clear, it'll be frosty cold, and the winds generally 3 to 8 plus. But that plus can make 17 feel like it's perhaps near 10 in some cases. In fact, it will be probably in the single digits for wind chills in Oneida. They're down to 11 tonight, looking for a low in Crossville of 12 and a low in Kingston around 15 degrees. Don't forget to drip the pipes, uh, drip the water. Friday, a high of only 38, 39 Oak Ridge. Could nudge 40 in Athens, 39 in Newport. But again, temperatures very cold for this time of year. Normal high now is 54 uh, or 53 now. So it's really kind of one of the situations you just have to uh, kind of uh, grit your teeth and bear it because I don't think we have other choices at this point. We will see a warm up uh, Saturday. We're up to 48. By Sunday, 57. And I think we're nudging 60 on Monday. There are some indications we get a real spike, and I mean a big spike in the mid to upper 60s on Tuesday before we get another upside down day on Wednesday. Wednesday is one of those days, like today, where the high temperature will come while many of you are asleep. Not everybody, but a good many of you will be asleep at 1, 2, 3, or 4 in the morning. But you'll want to dress for the 40s because I think the high early will come in the upper 50s as our temperatures just sh uh, swoop down to about 27. We got 27 there on Thursday morning of next week. It's a, it's a wild ride, yeah, but it is, after all, December, and it is technically meteorological winter. By the way, you can keep track of it all using the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels Traffic. Yeah, get best traffic reporter in town. And what's convenient is you get weather, traffic, all in the same app. Drought monitor, power outages, you name it. World-class app. Just search the two words, Captain Accurate, and it's free. Did I mention it's free? And you can use it on your iPad as well. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate. So weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care. <laughs>